Hi, Group C. It's Mrs. Slagle. We are doing part two to lesson 15. We'll be doing dictation today, so make sure you have something to write with and something to write on. Um, we're going to start by reviewing our sounds. Okie dokie. We've been focusing on vowels. Vowels are very important because there are vowels in all our words, and we know that vowels have different names. We have long and short vowels, and sometimes vowels are put together, and so vowels are very important. So we're gonna review our vowels. We have this in our binders, and we have all of our short vowel sounds. We have at the chair, edge of the chair, in the chair, on the chair, and under the chair. We also have our long vowel sounds. We have um, A for cake, E for tree, I for kite, O for bone, and U for mule. These are all the different ways that we can make, say, A. All the different ways for E, I, O, and U. We talked about the Y when it comes at the end of a word. Y can say E if it, the word has two or more syllables. And Y says I with one syllable, one little word, little words that can say I, okay? The U has two sounds. It has U as in used and U as in flute or hoot owl. There's a U-E right there for hoot owl, okay? So the, this is very important. I want you to review this, okay? Okay, here we go. Sound, 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 sound. Sound, 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 sound. Great job. I want to talk about a rule that's very important. How do we know if this word is hopping or hoping? There's the rule. Right? If there's only one consonant between the two vowels, the first vowel is long. So here's the vowel. Here's a vowel. There's only one consonant. So the verse, the first vowel says its name O. So hoping. Remember when we add ing to final E words, we drop the E. Is this tapping or taping? Let's remember the rule. Two vowels, one consonant. The first vowel is long, so it's taping. We drop the final E to add ing. Is this tacking or taking? Let's look at the rule. Two vowels, one consonant. The first vowel is long, A, taking. We drop the final E to add ing. Yes. Here's a rule for our short vowels. Is this hoping or hopping? Well, if there are two consonants between the two vowels, the first, the first vowel is short. Hopping. Hop. When we add ing, there's only one consonant after the vowel. We have to double the final consonant. Double the P for hopping. Is this tapping or taping? Let's look at the rule. Find the two vowels. If there's two consonants, we know that the first vowel is short. T-ap. When we add ing, 
to a word that has only one consonant after the vowel, we have to double it. All right, is this taking or tacking? Look at the rule, find our two vowels. There's two consonants, so we know that the first vowel is short, tacking. We don't have to double anything because there's already two letters after the vowel. Okay. Let's get rid, let's review our sight words and then we'll do our writing. We have new sight words this week. Hopefully you remember this word. Read, spell, read. Did you say done? Hope so. Read, spell, read. Did you say push? Another new sight word. Read. Spell, read, and this word is who. All right, let's review all of our words. Ready, read, 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 read. How did you do? Should we do them together really super quick? All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. Done, push, who, great, work, today, ready, move, people, read and read, most, Good, were, won't, don't, watch, full, pool, school, friend, children. I want to encourage all of you, if you know how to read your sight words really well, I want you to start learning how to spell all of your sight words really well so you can use them in your writing. All right, let's do our writing right now. We are going to practice our final E words, two sight words, and a sentence. Number one, say save, sound save, write save. I hear A. What letter do we need to make the A say its name? Who would like to spell save for me? S-A-V-E. Very good. Check your writing. Make sure you have all lowercase letters. Our letters are sitting on the line, not floating into space like little balloons. Number two. Say chase. Sound chase. Write chase. I hear the A sound. That's a long vowel. What do we need at the end of our word to make the vowel say its name? Write chase. Who would like to spell chase for me? C-H-A-S-E. Check your writing. Number three. Say break. Sound break. Right break. I hear the A, it's a long vowel sound. Don't get tricked, we only use CK after a short vowel. I did not hear the short vowel. Who would like to spell break for me? B R A K E. Check your writing. Number four, say make. Sound make. Who would like to spell make for me? M-A-K-E. Don't get tricked, the no C-K here because it's a long vowel, not a short. Okay, five and six are sight words. Five. Let's do this sight word, walk. Say walk, 
right walk. Try your best. If you're not sure, we'll just check it. Who would like to spell walk for me? W-A-L-K. Check your writing. All right, number six. It's a sight word. It rhymes with walk. The word is talk. Write talk. I wonder if it has the same ending letters because it rhymes. I bet it does. Write down talk. Who would like to spell talk for me? T-A-L-K. Check your writing. Make sure it's all lowercase letters. Pause the video if you need more time. Now it's time for our sentence. All right, what do we need to remember about sentences? Capital, finger spaces, and punctuation. Okay, the water froze. You can say water or water. First word is the, sight word. Finger space, water is a sight word. Try your best. Finger space, froze. Froze is a sound out word. Er, o, z. I hear the vowel o, long sound. Make sure you have your punctuation. Reread your sentence. The water froze. Let's check it for a capital finger spaces, and ending punctuation. Check your work. The water froze. Go back and reread all your words and your sentence. Give yourself a happy face or a star. And please go back and reread your story three more times today. Practice for fluency. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye. Be sweet and be kind.